What is up everyone? Hope everyone's having an amazing day. Just finished my workout. Um, hard one. The goal is always to get, for me, is always to get the uh, heart rate to max uh, for about five minutes, five to 10 minutes, three times per week. With that said, I wanna talk to you guys real quick about how to get ahead, how to succeed, how to achieve the goals that you want. It's very, very simple. But anyone watching this, one, two, maybe three of you will actually do it. I did it. I became a professional. I went to a D1 college. I've coached over 300 kids using the same idea, the same method. But to be honest, it's better now because I'm older, wiser, talk to a lot more people. But this, this formula, this, this framework of thinking and this way of success is pretty universal whether you go from <clears throat> whether you look at the people the richest people in the world or you you look at um the best athletes the best at anything the best writers the best painters they all had these three things that i'm going to share with you today first things first you got to have general knowledge general understanding of your craft this is where young players get it wrong completely they don't understand at a general level what they're doing if you're an artist do you understand all the different types of art do you understand abstract art do you understand uh paints versus uh oil oil paints versus uh you know, versus crayon, versus pen and paper, you know, that type of drawing. Do you understand, you know, classical versus Renaissance? What do you understand? What do you know about this? And then within each one of those, do you know generally each one of those? Now, most of you guys watching, guys, guys and girls watching, are athletes, specifically football. Do you understand the general aspect of the game of football? Do you understand how to defend? Do you understand how to attack? And if you don't, I'm gonna leave a link up here to both of those videos, how to attack and how to defend, where I go over them. And I explain from the definition of defend to the definition of attack. I break it all down for you in those two videos. But those are general concepts, attack, defense, counterattack. Do you understand these deeply? Do you understand the basics deeply? Do you understand what it means to have a good first touch? Oh yeah, yeah, I know what it means. When you kick a ball at me, you know, uh, I can bring it down. Okay. What if I'm coming at you head on? Which way do you need to take a touch? Can you do that, you know, quickly at a high level? Or are you just doing it at, you know, a basic level and hoping for the best? Do you, number one, do you have a basic understanding of your craft? Number two, do you have someone that you are learning from? What do I mean by that? Do you have a mentor? Every great human being had a mentor. And that does not mean that, oh, I watch YouTube and TikTok and I learned a, a, a couple things from, from those, you know, from videos and stuff like that. No, have you learned from a specific mentor? Have you learned from a someone who's actually done the thing that you want to do have you learned from this person and if you have not then what you need to do is you need to either find a mentor find a program so that you can get on the right track because if you do not have that you are going to hinder yourself possibly completely possibly completely hindering yourself from ever achieving your goals definitely holding yourself back one two three maybe five years so number one is get educated on the general part of the game what what position like also i have all the videos here on my youtube channel go check those out do you understand your position do you understand your your team's strategy do you understand how you guys plan to score how you guys plan to defend do you understand how your role affects the plan you understand, you know, the positioning, the basics of the position that you play. 
you understand what it means to be a right back? Do you understand what it means to be a left back? Center back. Do you understand what it, if you're a right back, do you understand what it means to be a center back? Do you know how you can help a center back? These are all general things that you need to know in order to be the best possible player you can be. So understanding the general part of it, then once you understand the general part of it, you will actually come up with questions about the position. If you don't have questions, you are not intelligent. If you do not have questions, you are not an intelligent person because someone, for example, someone like me, I have played at a higher level than 90% of you guys watching, 99% of you guys watching. And if you guys are not asking questions in the comments where I am actually actively giving you guys answers, if I don't know what you guys need to improve on, that to me is an, in, uh, is an unintelligent thing to do. You should ask questions so you can get answers. If you don't ask questions, you can't get answers. And if you can't get answers, you can't succeed. So if you have a general understanding of the game or of your position and what you're supposed to be doing, then you will have questions about that. You will have questions. If the, out, if the center back has the ball and I come in to, to get the ball as a right back, I come back on the line. What are some of the movements that I should be training in order to get out of those positions because sometimes I get the ball and I'm under pressure. What, what should I be doing? Those are some good questions that I can answer on this channel. But if you don't ask questions, you don't get answers. And I'm not even just saying about me. Ask other people that you watch. Ask them. Have a mentor. Have a mentor. And then number three, you have to have discipline and accountability. Now, 98% of you watching this do not have personal accountability or else you would be successful already. And you wouldn't be watching this YouTube video. But if you do have personal accountability where you hold yourself accountable for every single thing you do and you never drop the ball, then you are in a great spot. You are at a very, very high level and you are in that top 2% that I'm talking about. If you do not have personal accountability, what you need to do is you need to either get an accountability partner or you need to get a coach that is gonna keep you accountable. I text my clients twice a day in the morning and at night. In the morning, I ask them, how are you feeling today on a scale of one to five? How are you feeling physically, mentally, emotionally? What is your one thing you are going to do today that is going to move the needle for in everything that you do? And at night, I ask them on a scale of one to five, how effective were you today? And they have frameworks of thinking about that because we meet every single week, sometimes four times a week for my in-person clients. But if you don't have accountability, you're not gonna get it done. That is as close as you're gonna get to someone actually doing it for you. So are you keeping yourself accountable? Do you have an accountability partner? Do you have a coach that's keeping you accountable? These are the three things that every single successful person in the world ever has had. Read, the, read Michael Jordan's book. Read, Tom, read about Tom Brady. Read about Cristiano Ronaldo. Read about Lionel Messi, Zlatan. Read about your favorite player and, and tell me they didn't have a mentor. Tell me they didn't study the basics of their position. Tell me they didn't have personal or, uh, or a personal trainer that kept them accountable. Tell me they didn't have that. You will not find it. I'm Andrew Mullen. I was a six year professional. If you guys want to work with me personally, I have a free four pillar program. Uh, the link is in the description. If you wanna work with me personally, in my accountability group, then click the other link and I will get on a call with you and we will go through your goals and we will figure out if this is a good fit. I will see you guys on the next video. Peace.